can you please explain more about using the competitive approach to negotiate, but not being entitled? Um, let me see. I gave myself a note about that. Um, so the competitive approach that is about, as I mentioned, um, you're not looking for a win-win you're looking for, for you to win. Okay. And so you want what you want. You're very clear. Maybe, and remember I talked about focusing on your top three um, priorities, someone from a competitive approach, they may ask for more than three. They want like all seven or all five, you know, and by pushing, they may get more, they may get more. Um, but again, the studies show that they're less satisfied with the whole process and that um, it does impact the relationship with the employer. Um, and I also believe that for me, um, I perceive it as you're risking your, your chance of having the job offer revoked increases. So you're being more competitive. You have the potential to make more and get more, but you also have a higher potential of getting that offer revoked versus someone who's collaborative. Okay. And, um, not necessarily starting on the best foot with the employer, um, because and another thing with the employer is um, if, if they offer you a concession and you say yes right away, the fact that you said yes right away, it makes them feel like, oh, you know, um, that was an easy yes for them. And so they feel sometimes they feel bad about, you know, that they didn't win per se. So even if something's an easy yes, just taking a little more time before you give them their answer can make it seem like it's more on an even playing field. Um, and then being entitled, yeah, um, like I said, you know, you shouldn't expect a raise just because you breathe air. You know, you shouldn't expect a raise just because you want it. Um, I, what I see people make a, uh, mistakes with is um, all they do is focus on the job market stuff. It's an important part of your research but when you're negotiating a salary, you don't just say, well, everyone else makes this amount in this industry and everyone over there makes that amount. And so I should make that amount. That's not really the strongest justification. You use your market research in addition to what you personally have done, what you personally bring to the table, what personally makes you different in a good way, the value you bring when you save money, uh, made processes better and all that kind of stuff. Um, because if all you're focusing on is because you want a raise, just because, you know, the standard of living has increased and the, everyone else in the market is getting paid, it comes out as kind of entitled um, because you didn't have any impact on the market. So, you know, what, what value are you really adding to the job, you know, the workplace, you know, so um, it's about the attitude that you have and that's very important. Um, there's a difference between being confident and being entitled. Okay, um, and when you're negotiating, you want to concede some things, you know, because it shows good faith on your part that you're willing to be flexible too. And it's easier to be flexible when you have three priorities versus seven as well. And if you have more than three, it can start getting into the entitled kind of category. Okay, I hope that helps, Nicole. Yeah, thanks very much, Ebony. And I just want to let you know, um, I've enjoyed this presentation and my teenage kid just poked his head in my door and, and he could hear you talking as you were answering. And he said, wow, she sounds really interested in what she's saying. <laughs> so oh, good for you for being engaging. <laughs> oh, thank you for that feedback. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, let's see. Um, 